Prometheus is one of the titans and god of fire in Greek mythology. Prometheus is also a very famous monitoring tool which is being used already in lots of organization across the globe. When it comes to AI, Prometheus is a model which is used to evaluate the output of other models. And then we have this Prometheus eval which is a repository that provides a collection of tools for training, evaluating and using language models specialized in evaluating other language models. This repository include various components such as Prometheus eval, Python package that provides a simple interface for evaluating instruction response pairs using Prometheus. It also includes collection of evaluation data sets for training and evaluating Prometheus models. It also contains a lot of scripts for training Prometheus models or fine tuning on custom data sets. It is powered by these Prometheus models which are open source free and available on Hugging Face. <coughs> Prometheus is a family of open source models specialized in evaluating other language models. By effectively simulating human judgments and proprietary LM based evaluations, these models aim to resolve a lot of issues including fairness, controllability and affordability. When it comes to fairness, it means that not relying on closed source models for evaluation, and with controllability, you don't have to worry about GPT version updates or sending your private data to OpenAI by constructing internal evaluation pipelines. And of course, it is free. If you have GPU powered system, you can use it freely on your local system. If you look at this diagram, this primarily tells you the whole picture of how these things work. So if you look at it, on the very left hand side, there is a conventional LLM evaluation with few of the benchmarks like MMLU, Human Eval and a lot of others and they check for accuracy and few other things. But they only diagnose about one specific domain. Then in the second column, we have coarse grained evaluation with the help of alpaca form and a lot of others. But they only diagnose about general preference of the public. And then on the third column, we have GPT-4 and maybe Gemini and they're all closed source in nature. You don't know what is happening behind the scene and it is quite costly too because you are making an API calls. On the very fourth column, we have our Prometheus evaluation through Pro Prometheus models, which uses rubrics, which are basically the headings and charts and rubrics are rules or procedures through which an LLM is evaluated. It is fully open source. You can reproduce the evaluation then the cost is negligible. So in this video, I will be showing you how you can get it installed both Promethe Prometheus eval and plus Prometheus model locally. And then we will also test it out on few of the evaluation tasks. So let's go to my local system and then we will start cracking with the installation of this Prometheus eval and Prometheus models. I am using Ubuntu 22.04. I have one GPU card of 16 GB VRAM and my memory is 32 GB for this um, demonstration. Let me clear my screen. The first thing we need to do is to install Flash Attention. And if you don't have it already run it, I think I already have it. So let's wait. No, I don't. So let's wait for it to get installed. It don't take too long. And it, it is for memory. Um, efficient in friends and I have covered flash attention a lot in my channel so please search it out then we need to install Prometheus eval by simply doing pip install Prometheus eval it is going to install it on our local system and should not take too long it's quite lightweight Prometheus eval is installed let me clear my screen quickly and then we will proceed further. And now let's begin the installation. So let me launch my Python interpreter. Let's import the Prometheus eval. That is done. Now let's also import some of the prompt and our rubric score templates. And let's download the model, which is a Prometheus 7 billion version 2, as you can see here. 
and it is going to download all of these tensors, which are around eight tensors. Almost um, everyone, each of them is eight, uh, two GB, so around 16 to 17 GB space you would need. So let's wait for it to download. It is going to take a bit of a time, as you can see the ETA is here, somewhere around two to four minutes. The model is almost downloaded. So you can see that the model is loaded now. Took a bit of a time, but eventually it is fine. Now let's give it some instruction. So in this instruction, I'm just asking it that struggling with a recent breakup, a person opens up about the intense feelings of loneliness and sadness. They ask for advice on how to cope with the heartbreak and <clears throat> move forward in the life. And then we are just giving it a response because that is what we are going to check out. So this is the whole response that I'm generally sorry to hear that about your breakup and this can. So you can read through it. I mean, I'm not going to spend time on reading it. Um, so it is basically quite empathetic. And then let's also give it a reference answer. So this is a reference answer that which should be the good answer. And then let's give it some rubrics or the rules and procedures as we know it. So these are the rubrics like criteria is, is the model proficient in applying empathy and emotional intelligence to the response? And then score description, the model neglects to identify, react to the emotion tone. So these are all the rubrics there. And from score one to score five. Let's also give it to the rub score rubric template, which is our rubric data, as you can see. That is done. And now let's specify the feedback and score with the help of the judge. And the judge is the model, our Prometheus one. It is going to process the template as you can see. Let's wait for it. There you go. And now let's print out. There you go. So this is a feedback. <clears throat> so the feedback is the response provided shows a high level of empathy and emotional intelligence. It effectively addresses the emotional distress expressed by the user. It acknowledges the user's pain and validates their feelings and all that stuff. So the feedback from the Prometheus is good about the response. And the score is 5. And this score has been taken from this rubric. How good is that? Now, <clears throat> if you think about it, if you are using any other model like GPT-4 or whatever, Lama 3, so you can get the response from those models and before showing it to user, you can evaluate that response from Prometheus. And then if you think that the score is four or five and it is matches uh, whatever you want to do, you can dish it out to the user. So primarily you are doing quality assurance and quality control with your LLM application. So that is the reason why I believe that this Prometheus is really, really cool. Another cool thing with this Prometheus is that you can even do the relative grading of the responses. So, for example, uh, let me actually show you that explains this better. So, we already have uh, the data just compiled. So, I'm just going to put it here. So, this is the data here. It's, sorry, it is a bit big, but let me tell you what is happening. So, this is the data. And there are two responses. Response A and response B. So this is the instruction and this is the response A and this is the response B and model has to grade between these two responses and which one is better. And then this is the reference answer through which model will be taking it out. So for example, if you're, if you have your own custom data and you know that, um, there is this reference response, which should be always be take, uh, taken care of, whatever response is returned by the model. For example, you have two models and you are comparing them. So you call that the response from model one as response A and the response from model B as response B. And then on the basis of this reference answer, you grade the responses of both models and which one is, whichever one is better, you just select it. So <clears throat> in order to grade it, all you need to do is to just use this single relative grade. And then you can check grade both um, the answers 
and from there it will give it the score and will tell us which one is better so it finalized it and then let's so this is a feedback which you can read through that it is telling us both responses pre presents a case for economic troubles in response a this is happening in contrast response b does this therefore while both responses cover similar point response b is superior in its ability to support the claims with evidence the score should be b so this is how powerful this prometheus evaluation is <clears throat> and this is how much pertinent this prometheus model is so really really very impressed by this model you can run it all on locally and privately with easily and you can see that it not only can grade it it can do a lot of other things i will drop the link to this github repo in video description play around it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching